Hey guys, it's XCC and welcome to episode 60 of my Let's Play. We've come a long way and that's good. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. That's really cool. Um, but what I've done here is basically I've decided to automate, well, slightly automate this. Um, I've put a transposer there out of the many spare I had after making that sheep farm there. I'll put a chest and a lever here. It's not doing anything right now, obviously, but I just wanted to very quickly cover up this thing. Just like that. So I can still see it, but the drops won't fall out. Like that. And that will automatically collect all the drops. So I guess all I have to do now, really, is to make a timer. So let's um, head downstairs real quick and make one. I should have done this off camera, I guess, but you know, I forgot about it. Oh, it's that one, isn't it? Yep, timer. Let's grab our components out of here and let's hope we have everything we need. Oops, no, need a wrench. Okay, let's see. Two of those, yep. One of three of those, yep. And I don't have a stone cathode, that's what I'm missing. And actually, I can just craft one myself. Don't need to go to my project table. I'm going to need one. There we go. I really need to spend more time in here just grabbing a whole bunch of those basic components. But anyway, I've got my timer. And I'm thinking every five minutes is a good good amount. Yeah. So I won't get drops just sitting there, because that's what's been happening. Yeah, it's not going to do anything yet. So let's bump it up to... Who knows? 450? 400 seconds, I think. Yeah, that'll be fine. Not exactly five minutes, but you know, close enough. Uh, I think I only need this on there. Oh. I'm gonna bump it all the way down to make it do its first pickup. Oops, now I picked up all the stuff. Um, yeah. I've got a lever here, so let's do that. Awesome, so that works. And I'm actually going to have an on-off switch for this. Good, that one will work. Yep, and obviously I don't want it ticking so often. So let's put it back to 400. Lots of clicking. There we go. Perfect. This thing will now automatically collect the drops. And when I don't want it to, I can switch it off and... I'll see how I can hit them. I'll figure out that later. I'm not too concerned about XP right now. But you guys should recall that I said this system here is retired. And it is. And now I'm, I'm going to change it up and make something new here. So just um, give me a moment to demolish everything here. I know it's sad to see such a simple system. I'll just go like that, I guess. But... Oh, oops. I no longer need this. And with my new system, things should be a lot more efficient. So, like I said, I'll be right back when I finish demolishing everything here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You must be saying, was that necessary? But yes, it was. I've totally removed all the stuff from in here, except for up there, pretty much, I guess. And these pipes, yeah, they'll be gone. They'll be gone, don't worry. But basically, I am looking to create a logistics system. Making use of uh, these fancy pipes, yep. So, it's going to be a lot better. Trust me on that. And how about I get started right away? I'm going to need lots of different types of logistics pipes and a few modules and stuff like that. So, I'm going to, let's see... I'm going to craft myself another set of logistics pipes. Actually, I'll just go for two sets, but I can't see... Oh, there they are. 
21, not 16. Good. So the crafting system will still work, don't worry. It's got nothing to do with up here. Um, it's just taking a while because it needs to craft gold gears. But basically, I am also going to get myself um, an auto crafting bench, or two. I'll just get one for now. And basically, I'm going to need a bunch of these guys, modules. So, how about I teach my system about um, gold nuggets and paper? I may have to manually do that. Let's see, wheat. See, can I turn wheat into sugarcane? Because I've got so much sugarcane that I don't need it. I mean, wheat, sorry. Oh, look, wheat does turn into paper. Oh, why did I get bones? Didn't need them. This table is really laggy for some reason. Just burn that and see if I can get any more paper. Yep. Oh, lag. Why is this table so laggy? Oh. It's a little better now. Yeah, so I'm going to get a ton of paper. And is it time for that thing to tick yet? It's a lot of stuff there. Oh wow, it's only halfway. Let's reduce the time then. 2.50. Yeah, I'll let it do its thing. Because that might be what's causing the massive lag. All those items sitting there. But yeah, I'm going to grab myself a bunch of paper and chuck it into my chest. Is that not enough? Oh, there we go. Okay, so now I've got plenty of paper. I'm going to chuck most of it in there. I'm going to grab maybe two gold nuggets, or two gold ingots. And I just realised this house is not safe anymore with those massive holes. I know there's a blue alloy or blue aloe wire thing there. I'm just going to close this off so that I don't get mobs walking in there whenever they like until I fix up this system. So I'm going to go downstairs and add to this crafting system. And I know it's full, but that's why I've got two walls. And I'm just going to stretch the system over to this side, basically. Which is awesome. Do I have any glowstone on me? Please tell me I do. One. Great. So let me organize my stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back down here again. Oops. And time to get this system going, I guess. I've got my first crafting recipe of this system. And that is not going to work, because that's going to be right next to it, okay. Just have to move this wall back one. That's all. I'll do the rest off camera, I'll just get a little area. Done, get rid of the... oh, you won't see it, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So, I've made myself four crafting pipes. Um, don't know how many I'll use, I just got some ready. In case I did need more, but I'm going to need to teach this guy how to make gold nuggets, and... Ooh, my wolf isn't feeling very happy upstairs. Okay, let that craft. There we go. And one more up there. Oh. Here, okay. So now that it knows how to do that, I'm going to teach it how to use paper and a gold nugget. Um, let's grab a set. Two gold nuggets and a piece of redstone. Got some in here. To make a blank module. It's the other way around, whoops. Yeah, it was, of course. Like that. And if you don't know what these do, that's alright, I'll get to it in just a moment. I'm just preparing for what's going to become my new 
crafting and sorting system. So oh, all we need to do is just connect that with the basic stone pipe and we're good. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to make a bunch of chassis pipes, which I've made before for my recycler system, if you don't remember. But this time, it's going to be an, um, the next one up, Mark II. Oops, no S. So as you can see here, there's a bunch of Mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no, 5, up to 5. And the last one is, yeah, crazy, right? Yep. Don't worry, we only need to make this one, the iron one. And that will give us two slots to use modules in there. And I'm going to need as many as I have chests. So, and I have a lot of chests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to need at least ten. I may need more for some stuff downstairs, but... Wow, that's 80 iron right there. Let's see. Just trying to leave some behind. Yeah, that should be enough. And you know what? Seeing as I'll be making a bunch of these, might as well. No, I won't. Because I'll most likely have my logistics pipes on me. So... It's a lot of iron, but they're basic. Where are my... there they are. There we go, Mark two. that's what I want, and ten of them. Boom, there we go. There's ten. And if you don't remember, there's two slots right there that I'll be able to use. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip out these nicely coloured pipes. Yes, I am. I'm ripping out the colours. Whoops. Even rip that out. Oh, that's not good. Yep, I'm making a mess. But believe me, after this is done, it's going to be a lot neater. So I'm going to put these chassis pipes underneath, I think would be a good idea. And hmm, let's get rid of that. And I won't need these provider pipes at the back anymore, but I'll leave them there for now. Neither will that teleport pipe work, I don't know. Hope it will. Oh, and I'll need one for this, um, this thing here. Okay, and what I can put in there, there's two modules that I'm interested in. So one of them is called, an, not an item sink, um, not that, polymorphic item sink, this one. This guy is cool. How it works is in conjunction with the quick sort module, which I will want one of them, just one, um, later on is when stuff gets pulled out of a chest, um, this module here will look at what's inside the chest and just for an example let's see this one the module here will see that there's a bunch of ingots and any other ingots coming into the system it will send into this chest so it's kind of like an intelligent sorting thing so I'm going to definitely use a bunch of those I'll need um, I'm thinking 10 maybe 10 let's go with 10 so I'm going to need 10 blank modules. Quite successful, cool. And to make these, I'll need 10 iron gears and a bunch of orange dye, which I'll make myself. So let me do that real quick off camera, and I'll be right back. Well, I'm out of red flowers now, but I have plenty of orange dye, which will all disappear once I make these. Yep, all gone. So now I've got 10 polymorphic item sync modules, and these guys are going to be very useful. And I'm going to put one in each, yep. And that will tell this logistics system what's in each pipe. 
Oh, each chest, sorry. And you know what, I'm going to do that off camera so I don't waste time on this episode. Next thing I also want to do is make a provider module. Here we go. And yeah, stuff expensive. I'm going to need 10 golden gears now. And that provider module will allow my crafting system downstairs to pull stuff out of um, these chests here. So let me do that real quick. I'll need more redstone because I am out. Yep, well, I'm very low on redstone. I think I've got some more downstairs, which is a relief. I don't have to go mining. Um, and lapis, that's right. Need a bunch of that stuff. Let's see, not nowhere near enough. Let's see, how much will this give me? I need 40, okay. I'll actually keep this on me. I'll probably need more lapis later on. And I forgot to request my 10 black modules. My bad. If I can find them. There they are. 10. Oh. Low on paper. Not good. Thanks to my transmutation table, I don't have to go get sugar cane. I'll need to make a sugar cane farm very soon, don't worry. I won't just rely on my transmutation table all the time. Because I know it's kind of cheap, some people say. And I agree. If you overuse it, it is. Um, okay, let's chuck the paper in here. Let's continue. Grabbing my blank modules. Good. Okay. So it was like that. Redstone all around. Oops. And a bunch of modules. So yep, provider. Oops. Yep, just making a mess of calm. Okay, cool. And these guys will um work in conjunction with the chassis pipe to provide stuff for the system. And it's just like a standard provider pipe. So switch the first stack, last stack, first and last one item per set. And all that kind of cool stuff. So yep. Now that that system is hooked up, let's see, is it hooked up to the system? Yeah it is. Awesome. So now these guys should be relatively intelligent and I can knock off all these provider pipes. I can say goodbye to them. They are no longer, no longer needed. Well, that is until I put all the provider modules into these pipes. So let me real quick sort that out and I'll, oh I'm stuck, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've uh, gone to sleep and I've put in all the modules into the um, chassis pipes. So this pipe here will be completely useless now. So will these. Keep breaking the floor instead of these pipes. Yep, you see? Oh, it almost oh, missed the pipe itself. Just go through it. And yep, even all the way down here, won't be needing it at all. Okay, so I've already made a quick sort module. I'm going to steal this one. And I might have to connect that to upstairs somehow. But not right now. I'll deal with that later. Let's get up out of here. And I know it's a mess down there. It's alright, but on um, this chest here is going to be the default route, so anything that doesn't know where to go is going to end up in this chest. So I've got a quick sort, don't need that. don't need the polymorphic item sink, because it doesn't need to know what's in the chest. It just needs to route items there. And to do that, I'm going to use the item sink module, which is very similar to the polymorphic one. It's just, um, it just needs green dye, that's all. Only difference. So let's grab a module. There we go, one and an iron gear. One. Okay, so let's put the redstone in. 
on gear, come on. Oh, I can't pick it up. And I'll grab the green die from my chest. It's in here somewhere. There we go. Need four of those, and I may need more of those in the future, but you know. I'll just make one for now. There we go, item sync module. So all this guy needs to do is provide items and make it default route, yep. That's all I need to do. So all this junk was a result of it being or having no idea where to go. And I really need to get rid of these tools and stuff that's just sitting in here. They were for my achievements, but of course they always stuff up, so client size in there, yep, that's alright. You can chew up the energy from this guy and that. I've got so much dirt from that peat bog. But it's okay. I'll use the dirt somehow. So let's check out oh, that's right. Um the the fact that I was able to craft stuff just then uh means that this system here is working. Which is good. It's very good. So all I need to do now is um I can't move this chest kind of not. Okay, so I don't need oh, I might need stuff back here. Okay. So it's a mess out here, I know. I'm going to replace that crafting system for my water cells outside in a moment. Or I may make it out, um, or I may make it downstairs, but I'll see. Um, this guy will continue to provide power. So he'll keep doing that. That's right, that's what he's meant to do for my machines. But I can't have the machines getting power from the top anymore, because I'm going to have to um, put stuff in from the top. That's how my crafting system is going to work. So I'm going to fill this up a bit first. So I think I'll have them get energy from the back. Oh, I can place one. Yep. So, let's see how many of these guys do I want. I want... Let's see, I want an extractor. Yep. That's just standard. I want. I've got three mace raiders, or mass raiders, or whatever you want to call them. Um, bunch of random stuff. Lots of iron. Um, I don't think I'll need three. I'll just have two. I have two induction furnaces, compressor, and extractor. Where's my extractor? Oh, it's there. Compressor. Yeah, the, that's all the machines. Yep. That's right. And they're all going to get power from the back. Just like that. So I'll have the unused or not commonly used items here. Then I'll have two of those. And. Oh, okay, I'm going to have to move this chest, don't I? Yep. Here we go. Oh. All fell in the hole. Not good. going to move everything out of the way. I'm going to place down two macerators as well. Okay. And let's see, where's a good spot to put my chest? Um, I guess I better fill this up. Because I won't need stuff down here anymore. Um... Just to make stuff simple, I'll just put the chest down first. May move it in the future. Put him here. So let me sort that out, and I'm going to go ahead and craft a few more pipes. So I've got here 10 modules, and I'm going to craft them into um, two different types. One of them is going to be item sync. You guys have seen that before as well. I only need five, so let's make sure I don't accidentally overcraft. They all need iron gears on top. Five, and now I need some extractor modules. And I haven't talked much about this. Um, extractor modules. Oh, or have I? I think I have, yeah. I use them in my recycler system. They will basically pull items out of machines, not chests. You need a quick sort to pull stuff out of chests. 
this will pull stuff out of machines. So I'm gonna. Oh, I forgot to make my chassis pipes. Yeah, I forgot about those. But I'm gonna need five. Um, let's see. No, nope, they're all providers. Oh dear. I'm out. Oh, I'm short one. Okay, so I'm gonna craft another set. And I'll be back in a moment with five um, Mark II chassis pipes. Okay, so I grabbed 16, basically just six pipes. So now I've got a total of 23, and I'm going to make five of these logistics chassis Mark II. Okay, so I've got five of those, and they're going to go on these machines right here. Four, five. Okay, there we go. And. I happen to know I have a Mark 1. Oh, actually, I want a Mark 2 for my chest as well, so might as well craft another one. That will be another 8 iron, very expensive as you can tell. Man, 8 iron for each pipe, how much have I used for this whole system? Quite a bit. Okay. So I'm going to place these modules in here now. I don't need one for my compressor because nothing generally gets compressed. Or well, nothing that I want to do automatically. And I believe I've discussed this before. Basically, this item sync will request certain items into these machines. For example, the extractor, it will probably request sticky resin. So I want all sticky resin in the system to go here and it will extract from the side so basically um, anything that uh, resembles sticky resin will come down here get you know chewed up turned into rubber and this extractor, mo extractor module will extract the rubber from the side because machines output from the sides and you input stuff on the top that's why I have to put these pipes on top and yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing for a while. I'll be just placing item sinks and extractors on the side. Um, if you set it to default, it would be the top because the pipe is currently on top. And this item sink here, I'm going to have to put items that each machine should request. So I'm going to quickly do that off camera and I'll be right back. So I've now got, um, I've taught my macerators about all the different ores and luckily it all fits. Every single one of them, three types of copper, three types of tin, iron, gold, and silver. So all those will get um, requested by the macerators, or macerators, whatever you want to call them. And they'll get extracted from the out, um, out the side. Yep. And then, let's just quickly test this out, actually. Let's, I've got a Mark II that, there. And I'll just use this pipe. This is a uh, temporary. Let's put a quick sort. Oh, there's still stuff in there, isn't there? Yep, plenty of stuff. Don't want all of this to go in. Great. Um, let's just test all the different types of ores. Okay, silver, tin, iron, gold. I think that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Let's put the quick sort in there. And yep. You should all send it there. Yep, look at that. And it's got no power. Great. Why is that? Oh. Simple because it's not receiving any power, that's why. There we go, now it should be working. And I'm going to have to make uh, those upgrades for here to speed up things. But otherwise, it's all good. I'll get dust, and they'll get extracted, and at the moment it doesn't know where to put the dust. So it's not going to extract it. Fair enough. But once it has somewhere to go, it will get extracted. It's good, and that stuff is still there. Why? Let's chuck silver in there. Okay, 
so I'm just, yeah, I'm just messing around. I just need a bunch of dust, that's all I'm trying to get. Got more silver dust than I need. I need some tin dust, silver dust. I need some iron dust. Why? Because I'm now going to teach these guys about the dusts. So these furnaces here, they're going to know all about this stuff. Silver, um, let's go tin and silver. I need gold dust as well. Come on, iron. There we go. Iron and gold. Last one. So let me hook up these two um, induction furnaces off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've uh, gone ahead and put all the dust inside here and this one as well. Just take my word for it, I've done it. And this one is the one for the extractor, which is, I think, just about that. If I need anything else for it to extract, I'll put it there. And I guess if I wanted to eventually, if I had some stuff I wanted to compress here, I could. I could do that, yep. And let's see. Oh, there's a zombie. Let me deal with him real quick. Oh, two of them. Wow. Kill off one and kill the other one. Oh, man, these guys want, want me. Okay. Oh, and he gave me an iron helmet. How nice. And my one's not dead yet, so don't need that. But yeah, I like this system already. Look how much cleaner it is. That's all I need to do. I just need a pipe here to connect that. And this thing should get started right away. Give it a moment and it will. No, I don't like that. Hmm. Should be smart enough to know that you can't do that. I'll see. I'll see how it goes. But yeah, the system's done. All I need to do now is to link it up to these polymorphic item sinks over here, which I may not have enough pipes to do. Let's see, build craft. Let's see, cobblestone. These are also cobblestone. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I won't have enough. So all I need to do is pipe this down. Oops. Yep, no problem, I ran out. Just need to grab some glass, I guess. Oh no, I got a bunch here. And I also need to connect it to my default chest. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna have an intersection to fix that. Oh, I'll have to have one anyway. Might as well do it. Remember, you want one of these basic in, uh, basic pipes at every intersection so your items know where to go. And yep, I want to call it an end for this episode, I think. I've got a lot done. We've finished off this crafting system, or this logistics system. And look at that. It's automatically pulling out all the smelted items out up there and macerating stuff for me. Nice slow and slowly. Yeah, and these guys are fine. They're not going to go crazy and spit it all into the things. That's awesome. I'm just going to very quickly grab a bunch of these upgrades that I had on me. Oh, they're already there. Okay. Now I'm going to place, I want to say five in each. One there. Should do a lot quicker. And, yep. Good. I guess I'll put the rest in my extractor. So yeah, this system is much cleaner. Now I've got a lot of a lot of spare space here, where if I choose, I could put more chests if I need, because I very well may need some more. And that also that system there also allows me to expand to more, um, yeah, more systems over this way. And I need to hook it back up downstairs as well. So I'm going to call it an end for this episode. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and see you guys next time.